Hey guys, it's Naya here. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the 10 things that I think everybody must know about sister locks when they're considering doing the do. Now be sure to stay till the very end because my number one thing is so crucial. It could literally change the game. It could make or break your decision to get locks. So if you're new to this channel, Welcome. Just know we talk about rocking our locks, plus size fashion, and generally life on a budget. So if any of those things are of interest to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Okay, so here we go. Number 10, sister locks are a financial investment. And I do mean investment, long term. It, it's funny because people talk about, yes, absolutely the cost of getting your install. And for reference, an installation, depending on the length of your hair, where you are, who your loctician is, the density of your hair, all of that. It, it all plays a role in the cost. But one thing to know is that you are looking at anywhere from like $500 to like $2,000 to get your sister locks installed. That is what it is and it is the facts. So just be prepared to dish out those funds. It's also important to know that it doesn't just stop there. And we're gonna talk about that when we talk about maintenance, but there's also the cost associated with maintaining those locks. The other thing to note is installation time. The amount of time that it takes to actually install your sister locks is a commitment in itself. So again, this is based on the size of locks that you choose, but also the length of your own hair. I had about three inches of three to maybe three to four inches in my own loose natural hair when I started my sister locks. I chose obviously a small in terms of size, but my installation from start to finish was four days and 38 hours. 38 hours. And when I do my maintenance um, every seven to eight weeks, we're there for about seven hours. You absolutely need to you know, account for that. It is a time commitment. The other thing to note is when you do get your locks, size matters, size absolutely matters. So make sure that your, your consultant, your sister lock consultant is actually going and giving you test locks and ask for the different sizes. There are I believe three different sizes that you can get in sister locks if you're doing official sister locks. And it's just really important that you think about what size, because the way you start, I found that my locks probably doubled in size from when I originally did it. So they do still look pretty slim now, but they have absolutely doubled in size. The other thing to note, and this took me, this was really difficult for me, no products, like zero, zero, zilch, nada. No products. Honestly, I wanted to go crazy. <laughs> I can't even. And I, I know my loctician, she had told me like, you're not able to put any products. And you know, you think, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought, oh, you know, it won't be too bad. I didn't feel like I used a lot of products in my hair until you took them away. And my hair was screaming, screaming for moisture. Your hair gets so used to like the moisture and the oils and everything else like that, that you, we put in on a regular basis, especially as new, new, loose natural. I was constantly putting things in there. I didn't think that were, they were a big deal, but when I took them away and I had nothing, it was really, really tough for me. The itching, the just, oh, even just thinking about it right now, my hair is, is just itching me. Um, but for a full year, you are not able, well, really, everybody's different, but for a full year, that's what my loctician said no products. So literally just like a little spritz of water. And even that I had to be really be care careful on, but like that was it. It was brutal. So be prepared, right? You may want to think about gradually, like if you know that you're going to be doing your sister locks in the next couple months, gradually weaning yourself off of the grease, wean yourself off of it because it will be like going cold Turkey. I, I just wouldn't recommend it. Okay. Like, I would not recommend it because greasing your scalp, all these things, we just got so we just get so used to that when you take them away, it's like somebody just done took your crack. I don't do crack, but if I did, I feel like that's how it would feel. Okay, so we are about halfway through our list. And if you have not already done so, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna share with you like my number one thing that I wish somebody had told me about earlier because it may 
have changed my mind about sister locks. Not going to lie. The next thing to note is maintenance. It's funny because everybody talks about sister locks being low maintenance. And for sure, like when I had my loose natural hair versus sister locks, absolutely. There's less, technically less day to day maintenance, but don't get it twisted. Maintenance is a huge deal when it comes to sister locks. It can literally be the difference between your legs, your, your locks dropping out or staying on your head. In the beginning, your maintenance, your retightenings, doing every four to six weeks, depending on what your loctician um, or your consultant suggests. What happens if you do not maintain your locks, if you do not get them retightened, you literally will have locks that will drop out. No joke. I have had that. I have had locks in the back not be retightened and they have literally dropped out at the root. That's it, they were gone. You have to maintain it, period, end of discussion. Shrinkage, yeah. When you, when I was loose natural, obviously shrinkage was definitely a thing. And at the beginning, I want to say for the first, let's say two years, um, I absolutely had a lot of shrinkage. So I'd wash my hair and it'd, and for sure when I would pull, I'd be like, oh my gosh, if only my hair were actually here. At the length that they're at now brings them down. So I don't have a lot of shrinkage uh, when I wash my hair, like you'll see. So this is, you see here, this is just naturally laying down and... This is it straightened out. So not, not much shrinkage. What's that an extra like inch, maybe two inches. It's not much. Yeah. There's not much, not much shrinkage that happens here anymore. Um, but definitely, uh, when I first, uh, started my locks and you know, even when I had my teen locks, it was definitely a thing. People say that sister locks aren't permanent, but I question that because in order to take out the lock, so I'll, I'll use that example. I actually know uh, somebody close to me who had had her locks done, uh, like a medium large, and she didn't realize that they were going to double in size. In her instance, because she didn't love the size and uh, closer to two years, she realized, oh my gosh, this is not, the look is not what I wanted. She had to take them out and she, did take them out, but it took 52 hours and she lost a lot of hair. So in my books, if it's going to take me 52 hours to take these out, probably longer, obviously, because her hair was only about here. If I had to take these out, you might as well just get me the razor blade now because I'm going to shave this head before I would sit down to take each and every one of these locks out. So I feel like sister locks are permanent. Comment below if you know you have other ideas or thoughts or if you've ever had to take your locks out. So one of the things that always frustrated and bothered me through the process is how long it took my, my, my hair to lock. And your hair will lock differently based on the texture of your hair. Um, and obviously, again, just making sure that you, you know, don't put a lot of products in it. When you put products on your hair, it causes slippage and it doesn't allow your cuticles to bond to each other. So it's just really, really important to note that locking time varies for everyone. So for me, my, the back of my hair locked first and it took, I want to say just a little over a year for the back of my hair to lock. And then the top of my hair and like in this area here, that took close to another year. Like it was like two years and I was like, what the heck? Why do I still have these scraggly, like, I thought it was gonna go a lot faster, but I do know my hair, it tends to be just a little softer, but I definitely found that it took a really long time, especially for the top of my head to lock. So keep that in mind. The process of having like these teenage locks that are unruly. And sometimes like these locks, they wanna go this way, they wanna go that way. And there's no control, no control until my hair again locked. And that took about two years, but let me tell you, there were days, there were days where like, it was just like, I don't know, lint, lint. Like guys, nobody tells you, nobody tells you about the lint problem. Like nobody tells you about this issue. I will tell you right now. So in my hair, uh, you may or may not be able to see that, but I see it. I see, it. I see you. I see you. I see you. Listen, honestly, nobody tells you about lint. Lint. It is like the bane of my existence. One of the things that you are going to need to do is cover your locks. The lint is real. 
I have had to stop wearing wool sweaters. I've stopped wearing anything even kind of fluffy most days because the lint, this catches on everything. Like we know that, you know, locks catch scent, but they also catch lint and dirt and dust. Especially though, the lint is one of those things that sometimes I feel like I didn't know. I didn't know that there was a lint issue beforehand. Um, I still remember I wore this turquoise blue sweater constantly. I loved it. I had no idea. My hair at the time was probably about here. And it had just started to touch my shoulders. So it had never been a problem before because my hair was so short. But as it started to touch my shoulders and fall came and I was wearing this gorgeous teal scarf that I loved and it would have been hand knitted. My sister came one day and she was like, Natch, why, why do you have all this blue stuff on the, the, the back of your hair? And I'm like, oh, just take it out. And she's like, look at the mirror. Where do I start? And literally it was like half the sweater, or sorry, half the, the scarf had been embedded at the base of my locks and I had no clue. So be aware of the lint problem. Be aware of it. If you have beautiful sweaters at home that are knit and cable and da da da, give them somebody else. Give them to the needy honey because you're not going to be wearing them. The final thing that I wish someone, someone had warned me about is the dandruff. Honey, the dandruff. Oh, oh, I never had a dandruff problem before I started these locks. And it's funny because I initially thought, oh, once. I am able to use product again after, let's say, the first year, it should be fine. But what I've actually found is my dandruff problem has actually increased, especially, I want to say, in the last year. I have no idea why, but it is a thing. It is such a thing. If you have dandruff issues um, with your locks, your sister locks, please note it below. And if you have figured out the holy grail of how to stop the dandruff, let me know, please let me know in the comments, okay? I am definitely open to suggestions. I have tried concoctions. I have tried, you know, over the counter stuff. I have tried so many things and it kind of goes away for like a couple of days, but then it always comes back. So I would love, 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 love if you have any examples, but literally that is the thing, the dandruff, that is the thing that I do not regret getting my sister locks. I love my hair. I, 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 I absolutely, I, Lord, I thank, I thank Jesus for this hair, <laughs> but I have to say, I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared for the dandruff issue. And what I find is as my hair grows, it actually just gets worse, especially in the winter time. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a thing. So I would say that definitely out of everything, that is the one thing that I wish somebody had told me earlier so that I could just prepare myself for it. It probably wouldn't have changed my mind. I love them, but I wish I was a little bit more prepared. You know what I'm saying? If you like this video and you want to see my whole sister lock journey from start to finish, make sure you watch this video coming up next. <music>